Hey, it's Nikki, and I'm back. I'm going to be doing the review for Stars Season 3, Episode 17. And we're going to get into this hot mess that was this episode. And then, when I tell y'all I was right, I'm going to say I was right. Okay, so we're going to get into it. We're going people by people, person by person. Let's get into it. The first person we're going to be doing is Alex and Derek. Because Alex's story is, like, it's super simple. <sighs> Alex and her daddy... Like, they fight and very publicly. It's a battle because, you know, she gave away all that sponsored, all those sponsored gifts away because, you know, he was trying to make money off her wedding. And it was just like, you haven't been a father to her at all. You've never been a father to her. You told her her music was trash. She had no soul. She had no meaning. And she's never going to be nothing. So she might as well come work for you and be up under you for the rest of her life. No, ma'am. And her mama wasn't no better because she had her little girl taking care of her drunk aunt. Hey, SS, no, we, you, learn to treat your children better, because the one you degrade, the one you mistreat, will be the one that be the best, that be the everything, okay, stop treating kids this way, stop taking your frustrations out on people, Now, when I say some people aren't meant to, ki- meant to have kids, I mean some people aren't meant to have kids, and just because this is a fictional show, that don't mean that Roland Crane was meant to have a child, he wasn't, because he's not a good parent, okay, So, because she is, like, in this very public battle with him, because he's trying to stop her from, basically, if she told the world how much of a bad father he was, how he was an ish father, he will sue her. So, she, and Derek was like, what type of father sues his own daughter? She was like, mine. Then the uh, day they were supposed to be going to some type of, I think it was an ASA event or whatever, he had the car, her car repossessed. So you know what Alex do? She take that back and she break that window and she was like, congratulations, daddy. So, you know, she frustrated, she upset, she dealing with this, she dealing with that, she dealing with everything. Especially due with the wedding, especially due with her dad. So Derek came in, like, talked to her and everything. And he trying to figure out if she'd get involved or not or whatever. And she ended up writing a song about her frustrations, about her dad. It was a bop. It was a really good song. And it was the new Take 3 song that they performed at the, um, at the ASA event or whatever. And after, you know, the press is, like, asking, you know, what's up with, You know, what's up with you and your dad? What's going on? She was like, my dad's never been a great father. And he's been doing things. And whatever. he wants me to pretend like he was oh so great, which he wasn't. And she, like, spilled the tea about the repossessed car and all that stuff. And she was like, I'm so frustrated that I put my frustrations into the song. And it was the new Take 3 bop. And she was like... You want to fight, Daddy? I'm right here. And her and Derek walk off. I said, Alex, you're growing up on me. You're becoming a grown woman. You're becoming a grown-up. Okay? Oh, I love it. I can't wait for the wedding. Except for I'm going to talk about that later at the end. You know, giving up Davis is a whole, like, star Noah type thing. This is their storyline or whatever. And, you know... Star is like going back and forth on why, you know, Star is thinking, she, like, she fighting with her conscience because she has like a dream type of thing where it takes her back to when she was a little kid watching her mom sing to Baby Simone to then it was Star holding Baby Simone, like not Baby Simone, like Toddler Simone in her lap singing um, the song Come Back. Uh, come back to me, the song they sang when uh, Simone had her, when Simone OD'd, and when Star ended up in a hospital, and the song their mother would always sing to them, to like, it was like, they lullaby or whatever. Um, oh yeah, so it goes from Mary holding baby Simone in her arms, singing come back, to, and Star watching her from the bed, to Star, like, an older Star, holding toddler Simone singing come back to me as you know Mary's laying in the bed high passed out high and then it turns to grown Simone and star and you know same thing Simone is in star's lap 
and Mary pops up saying, you think you better than me, bitch? I was like, Mary, you alive? Why are y'all playing these games with me? And she was like looking at Star Trek, but she thinks you better than me. She was like, and they just like kept going back. And she was like, you you think you better than me? I'm. She was like, I know I'm better than you. And she was just like, Mary was her subconscious, like her conscience, like don't do this, don't give up the baby. And Mary was like, since I can do this at the third, I'm gonna take him. Talking about David, she was like, I'm gonna take your baby. So she picked up the baby and then start take the baby. And she was like, you ain't never taking my baby. I want my baby. And she has the baby in her arms. And then Mary say, he's already gone. And then baby's gone. And it turns out it was just like a dream. And it was like her conscience trying to get to her. Like, don't give up the, uh, don't give up Davis. So, you know, Simone asks, like, they go to the studio or whatever. And they look at, they need a new song or whatever. And someone asks a uh, star, you're so worried about your career. Why won't you give this much to your son? Why don't you think this much about giving him away? And star is like, this is what y'all don't understand. I love him so much. I'm doing what our mother couldn't. I love him too much to put him through the bull that is me, the mess that is me and Noah, that I will give him away to someone who will love him or protect him. And uh, Simone was like, why don't you just give the baby to me? She said, because you can't. She, because the mom was like, I can uh, take care of the baby. I took care of the baby while he was in jail. I will keep him safe. So, and she was like, you can't guarantee that. Because the last episode, somebody tried to blow Simone. And uh, tried to blow Simone and Angel up. And Simone and Angel not got to have security. Because they out uh, police out here looking for whoever did it. Oh, update. Angel didn't die. But, you know, that might be a little mm-hmm, towards the end. I'm going to tell y'all. So, you know, they got security for them. And, you know, they having their own issues because it's just like, he's scared, she's scared. They don't know what to do. So, boom, we took care of Angel and Simone. Uh, Con still ain't said nothing about her killing that pimp or whatever. So, she babysit Davis for a little while. That's about it. And mostly it was like, basically Star and everybody else having. But, you know, going back to what Simone said, she was like, I can protect him. So I was like, you couldn't protect him while I was in jail. And that's how Noah ended up almost burning down the house and killing the baby. And she was like, how can you say you can protect him when right now you're dealing with your own stuff? And, you know, Alex chime in is like, Star got a point. I may not agree with it, but she got a point and it's her choice. And she goes back to it was her choice to have her abortion. because She felt like she couldn't bring a baby into the world. If Derek was A, still in a wheelchair, because she would have to take care of him and the baby. B, they was having money problems, and C, her career wasn't where she wanted it to be. But hopefully they have cute little chocolate babies in the end. So everybody keep going on Star about giving up Davis. Then, uh, oh, Miss Bruce stole a song from the vault, and it just happens to be a song that, um, Jackson produced. Jackson gonna make me beat him, okay? I know I said in many videos, violence not the answer. Jackson, you got to catch these hands. So, this Bruce was like, you gotta convince him to let you use the song, like, let us have the song, because this would be good with y'all vocals and everything, and we can fake it till we make it with you, because Star still ain't got no voice at this point. So, Star go... Wait, what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, they have the ASA event. So, Star C. Jackson with his new, his new chick. Okay, he on the carpet with the new um girl Amber from the last episode with the jacked up purple wig, and she like he know how to work my voice. And Star said he knew how to work my voice too. And Amber up here grabbing all up on his booty and everything. I'm like Jackson, you not gonna fix this. You, what you doing, okay? Because I know you love Juice and Star, and she loved the Juice and her. You loved the Juice and her, and she loved the Juice and you. And y'all was supposed to be together forever. Just because she did hood math and was pregnant for almost ten months, don't mean you can't love her, okay? That that's not what that means. Mm hmm. So you know they going through their little thing, and he they going back and forth. And she was like, you know what would make me feel better? Dusting you and your new bitch at the ASA. So I was like, you go, girl, because I know you did not tell Star. You just want to be friends. 
and you didn't want with the crazy one who act like she could just be titty bumping people all out the way. No, ma'am, we don't do that over here. You better back it up. Back it up. Made me mad. Um, so of course Jackson's a great producer. You know, Noah's like, cause this review is gonna be all over the place. Noah um and him meet up in the studio and he was like I like the song you got. Can I use it? It's a different song, so I'm glad they're not fighting over the same song. And, you know, he was like, man, I don't like you. Because he was like, I don't like you, and I don't like you either. And he was like, can you help me with Star? And he was like, nah, you know what? This ain't your problem. Because he kind of want to tell him about Star giving up the baby, but then he don't. So they have the whole thing. So Star come in, and she was like, Oh hell, this one and this one here, and she ready to go. But then she knows she gotta ask for the song, so you, she asked Jax, you know, can I have the song or whatever? And he was like, sure. Then he said, you know, how's your boy? She was like, don't do that, because really, you said you want to be friends. So her thing is, if we supposed to be friends, but we was more than friends the last time, the time before, you said you just want to be friends. We don't ask me about my voice, don't ask me about nothing. And then Noah tells Jax what happened, like, tells Jax that she's giving up the baby. And he go off. They get heated. Okay, it is a whole mess because they start arguing, and he tells Star, I hope your son never turns out nothing like you. And, I, or, Hold up. Oh, yeah. But she was like, she was dumb with them because they both come at her at the same time. Here's my thing. Noah, fight for your child. Jackson, you told her you just wanted to be friends. You have no rights to that child. You have no rights to start no more. Because you the one, like, I know you was broken hearted and you needed time. But you told her after she got out the hospital, even after you spent all that time being there, playing music for her, know, letting her know somebody was there, loving her and being there for her, that you only wanted to be friends. So guess what? We did, we only friends. We could be business acquaintances. So um, Noah on the red carpet and everything at the ASA event, and this is before, this is the same event where Star find out that, you know, Jackson was with Amber Drake and producing her stuff and whatever. And she, okay, Star was looking for a fight. She didn't get one, whatever. But Noah keep calling Star around. You know, they're taking pictures or whatever. And he's trying to tell her, not understanding why you would give up your own child. You seem to care more about your career than your own child. And basically, that's what she's been trying to tell y'all. While she loves her baby, this is the only thing she's ever had. Music is the only thing she's ever known. And she will do any and everything for it, Okay. This is what she's been trying to tell y'all. Y'all act like y'all not hearing her. So he keeps following her around the red carpets and everything. And he wants to start an argument. And he was like, she was like, you really want to do this here? And he was like, you so focused on this. But you're not focused on the fact that you're trying to give away your child. And that's how Simone, Miss Carlotta, Alex, and everybody else found out that she was giving up Davis. I'm surprised the press didn't hear her. Because the paparazzi in the press was right over there. Like, shut up, Noah. Damn. So, no crazy mama is supposed to be helping him or whatever. I was like, you can't trust your mama. Because I believe she got something to do with what's about to happen next episode. So, um. As, like, Diane, I believe that's her name. Diane, Diane. Yeah, it's Diana and Noah are talking. She, he's just, like, telling her everything that's happening. And just like I said, she might have, po Star might have postpartum. And. She was like, she explains to him that she had postpartum after he was born, like, after he was born too, and she didn't tell nobody or whatever, and she understands it. However, she not down with Star giving away her grandbaby, and she not gonna let that happen. And, you know, Noah gets served while they, like, they're preparing for whatever is happening, and because Star's trying to prove him incompetent and not um, stable enough to take the baby if she gives the baby up for adoption. So she can be able to give the baby up for her adoption. I 
I'm just gonna say this. If Diane realizes that Star has postpartum and she's had postpartum, that means this she we don't understand how crazy Diane is because she she willing to because Starring all the way there. She has postpartum, so she's not mentally there. And Diane's willing to hurt her in order to keep her uh, grandson around because she goes to Star's house and she threatens Star. And she says, uh, she bursts in there and threatens her. She like go in there and threaten her and Star was like, you don't bust up in nobody's house. This is Lanta. You can't do that. And, you know, Star had her by the neck, and then Diane flipped her around, have her by the neck, and was like, you don't know who you're messing with, and you're not giving up my grandchild. And she just threatened Star and everything, and she leave. Here's my thing. Y'all not really focused on her mental and emotional well-being. It's why she was thrown off with Jackson, saying he just wants to be friends, because she thought she really loved her. She thrown off because she not mentally or she she's not emotionally there because her career stalling. She can't sing. Everything she ever had in life is going to hell in a handbasket in just a few short in a short time. And my thing is, I said before, there's only th two things Star know how to do. Now she's trying to learn how to be a mother, but you know, possibly she giving up this baby. There's only two things she know how to do: that sing and fight, sing and fight. That's all she knows how to do. So why is it that y'all not understanding that she is going to do whatever it has to do to get back the one thing she knows how to do? Well, one of the two things. Sing and fight. That's all she knows how to do is sing and fight. And they're not really caring about her mental and emotional state at this point. They're like, you either hurry up and get your voice back or you ain't got nothing. And it's just like, y'all better fix this. Y'all better help her because... This could be bad. This could be really, really bad. This can go very badly. Um, We're going to go back to uh, Simone and Angel's situation because, you know, Angel fell in some type of way. He is upset. He got... he It ain't sitting right with him. He's basically upset because Simone don't understand what it feels like to... Well, not that she don't know what it feels like. She's just, like, he went off on her because he's like, I got to watch my back because I feel like somebody's going to attack my family. And he was like, you ain't never been on a boat having to sneak back into this country because you're trying to be with the person you love. Like, you haven't done this, you haven't done that. So he went off on her a little bit. But then, you know, like, he going through it because he's like, oh, my God, I got to watch my back because he had this big-ass knife. And he, she was like, what's wrong? And he was like, I thought I heard something. I was like, get him some help. Also, he ain't got nothing to do right now, seeing as nobody, like, his partner did, his uncle did. So, can y'all get Angel his career back, please? At least he has something to live for. And we on the Cassie. And why I was right, why I was right, why I was right, uh, why I was right, oh, I was right. I was right, I was right, I was right, I was right, and my voice may be horrible, but I was right, 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 anyway, you know, before Cassie learns why I was right, you know, she pushing for a shot to get this right. She pushed him for Rashad to, like, do music and everything. And despite Carlotta telling her, then his aunt's home. And she decided to have him, Rashad, work with Ladini. I was like, Ladini, really? Mm, no, no, ma'am. No ham, no turkey, no eggs, no bacon, no cheese, no grits. Oh, my God. Why, Cassie? Why? This went over. Like, when she was talking to him, he was barking and everything else. I was like, what is wrong with you? She want to make little, uh, I forgot if she's trying to make little Dini or Rashad a gospel crossover artist, but you know, do you. So, Carlotta finds out that Rashad, no, yeah, 
Carlotta found out that Rashad was her son with the stepdaddy that was sexually assaulting her because Rashad's daddy, the uncle, comes in. He was like, I thought she was going to protect him. He was supposed to send him home. He living on this pipe dream that he's going to get a record deal and he's going to stay in Atlanta. He got a good job at home. This is not what I wanted for him. And he was like, even though he's not my son, I will still protect him. And she was like, what you mean he's not your son? He was like, I promised I would take this to my grave, but Rashad is your daddy's son. He brought him to me one summer, and he was your daddy's son with another woman, and he knew it would hurt your mama if she ever found out. Carlotta said, now, who, who's the lady? She was like, I don't know. Carlotta pieced it together that, oh, Oh, this is my son. Oh, this is a mess. She was like, okay, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to try to do what I need to do. So, she go and tell um, Cassie. Cassie was like, what you talking about? Because she was like, kind of talking around in circles. But she was like talking to where if Cassie was listening, she would hear. So, she was like, look at him. She, no, because she was like Rashad. She was like, how am I going to tell Rashad? And she was like, what do you mean tell, tell Rashad what? She was like, look at Rush, look at him. Look at me. Look at daddy. And Cassie was like, oh. She was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I say I was right, I was right. And I kept telling my auntie and I kept telling my friend. I knew that had to be her son. I was not sure on why she was so adamant on him going home. Maybe she didn't know that was her son, but she was just like wanting to push him away. And, I mean, it lined up to who it was. So, you know, Cassie and uh, Carlotta shut it down. Cassie was like, you don't need to be in this business. I got you messed up. And he was angry. He was upset. And he was like, I thought you believed in me. So, he was like, he upset. So, I think he went out, got a little drunk, maybe. I don't know. And, you know, he go to Carlotta's, he comes back to Carlotta's, and, you know, he asks her, you know, why are you doing this? Why don't you like me? Why are you doing this to me? Why don't you want me to have a career? And he just, like, confronts her and everything, which leads to Carlotta saying, you know, I'm your mother. And he was like, what? She was like, I'm your mother. And he was like, but, uncle? And then she was like, yeah. And he was like, nope, this ain't me. This ain't it. This ain't for me. And he leaves, and Carlotta have a breakdown in the kitchen. However, you know that hot young man Carlotta was hooking up with at the bar? He's a billionaire. He's a billionaire. And he could possibly save her job at Gravity Media if he buys the company. And if he does that, he's going to give one of the artists, like, it's either going to be Take Three or maybe just Star or maybe just Alex or Noah, whoever on Gravity Media, whoever else they got, he'll give them a residency at one of his um, clubs or whatever for a few months. And, you know, star woman. But, you know, that's been my review from um, Wait, hold up. I missed something. I might have missed something. Okay, nope, I didn't miss nothing because I still say I'm about to fight Jackson because he did my girl dirty. Like, don't really want you, Amber. Fun. But this has been my review for Star Season 3, Episode 17. Um, if you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't still like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to grow this channel. And you know what? I will be back for another review for the little finale because, you know what? This is about to be a whole mess. That's what I was freaking getting because next episode, Star, not Star, Alex and Derek's supposed to get, be getting married. And it'll look all good. Miss Carlotta walking her down the aisle. They say they vows. Simone and Star's bridesmaids. I was like, but who's going to be the groomsmen? Because Derek ain't got no friends. Y'all ever notice that? We don't ever seen none of Derek's friends. Like, Derek, you got some friends. And then somebody starts shooting at the wedding. Angel gets shot. 
Cassie gets shot trying to protect Carlotta. I'm like, what the heck is this? And then uh, we see Star crying. I was like, what is this bull? What the heck? I was like, how does this happen? Like, is it because... Like, my thinking is, is it because Cotton killed the pimp? Is it because of what happened to Xander? Is it because... Maybe the mama found out about the son. Is it something to do with Cassie? Is it like something for Roland getting Roland's get back? Or is it Miss Diane trying to get at Star? Because she might think if she kills Star, then she get the bait. But then again, that's not how that works. Get some on. If that happens, someone will prove incompetency to, you, to your son. But you know, if you like the review, like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't still like, comment, subscribe. And I already said that before, but you know what? Something ain't right with this last episode. But 